All right, we just wrapped up dinner and we're gonna fill up. Um, we are in the Garden Grove Westminster area. We're gonna go to Fountain Valley. It is online. And so, oh, how we got here, for those of you wondering, go to apps, fuel. No, we don't need to download anything to see this. It's It was built in. And I know from what I hear, some of the new, the new models don't have this for some reason. I don't know why, but you press go and then you're ready to go. And uh, it's just pretty much a straight shot down from where we are. But um, yeah, I don't want the navigation going off, so I'm not gonna press okay to start it. But um, that's how you do it. I'll just for demonstration purposes, press okay. The route guidance will start now. And then that'll, that'll start, so. Here we go, off to Fountain Valley. Here we go, coming up to the station. It's at this Arco here. You can see it right there. It is empty, we are looking good. Fountain Valley always seems to be working, um, and both all machines usually, but there it is. At this Arco in Fountain Valley, we have should be four pumps or four nozzles ready. We'll see if they're operational. And we are at the station. Let's open up the fuel pump or the fuel door. Still by far my favorite location, but not the prices. All right, someone got frustrated and punched the POS system or something. And with these prices, I don't totally blame them. 36 a kilogram. I believe the um, the uh, air product station in Diamond Bar is $26.99, so almost a full $10. Alright, let's see, let's open up the dust. Like, Fuel door, put the dust cover off. It should start working. And I found out that I think through the comments, one of you mentioned the M stands for like a membership, so you could get like, in theory, a, a cheaper rate if you are a member. But that's what I saw in the comments. Here we go. Nozzle. Pumping 36 per kilogram at the Fountain Valley station. Let's see if these are working. We are good. Always love these things. Um, I don't know how functional they are, but they look cool. Good. Last one is good. So four pumps are ready to go. Very, very rare sight, all four of them. Here we go. Um, this is on the intersection of Ellis and Brookhurst in Fountain Valley at this Arco station. We are filling up. And I like that it's separated here, uh, kind of from the regular pumps. Yeah, it's always pretty nice here. Nice, prices are not, but I usually don't have an issue filling up here. For those of you that do fill up here, let me know if you do have had any horror stories here or kind of yeah, not ideal, but it's been pretty good for me. Alrighty, we are just wrapped up filming or <laughs> fueling. Here we go. These little lights are fun. All right, we filled up 1.9 kilograms for essentially $7, or $70. Take it off. I'm gonna push in with this, pull. So we're gonna push, pull back. There we go. This back in. Should be it. 
put the dust cover back on. There we go. And while no one is here, I just wanted to do a quick walk around just so you can see. Um, again, we are at the side of the building. Looking good. So yeah, the station has always been pretty good. I know it goes offline once in a while as most stations do, but this one has always consistently been pretty good and it's on a pretty busy intersection, Ellis and Brookhurst, right off the 405. So if you're in the Costa Mesa area, Garden Grove, Westminster, Santa Ana even, uh, I know Santa Ana, you have orange, but this has been the most consistent. They have four pumps that are usually online so that's a huge plus because there's one in uh, Costa Mesa, but it's just a single pump similar to the diamond bar setup. So you have four pumps, four times as many compared to most. I know, I think in Hollywood, it's only a single as well for True Zero. Um, but the biggest thing is the price. It's $36 per kilogram, which I guess in their defense has been the same price for a handful of months now which is good, but still way too high. When I bought the car uh, in February of 22, uh, prices were around uh, 17 or so a kilogram. A kilogram. So this is uh, quite a bit more. Um, so anyway, uh, that wraps it up. We're gonna get in the car now. I'll show you the range. Flip this around. And the range, I'm gonna turn it on see what it says Two forty-seven. so it was online but he didn't give me a full tank um, I'm good with this but it is this is another one of those things you have to deal with when you're dealing with these inf this infrastructure so it should still be online so Fountain Valley is online this should happen if you're at a limited station where essentially it gives you a certain amount um, and that's it. It won't usually give you a full tank. Essentially, I got limited, limited station performance from an online station. So Fountain Valley um, usually does pretty good. I guess I spoke too soon, but a plus is that all the pumps seem to be working from the front. And I just realized there is an H35 pump, which is not very common. Um, but yeah, those are I, something about the PSI essentially fills half the tank. H70, 35 is half, so it only fills up half. Um, I don't know why you need that from the comments I've seen in the past. I think the old system used to use H35 or something. But nevertheless, that is the first time I've seen a dedicated H35 um, nozzle. But that wraps it up. Another fueling adventure. I will make more content outside of just the infrastructure or outside of fueling. If you have any other ideas on what you want to know about the car or kind of living with it or whatnot, um, I will make more videos. But um, in the meantime, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.